Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix uh, this problem which uh, occurs in Git when you try to push your changes to your main branch using Git and you have provided your username and password for Git and you uh, execute this git push origin command and you see the error which is called support for password was removed right so let's see how we can solve this problem uh, and uh, and you can see uh, this says that support for password authentication was removed on this date please see this uh, thing so you can't anymore authenticate with this method. Now, in order to authenticate, you need a new kind of method, which I'm going to show you. So if you're using this kind of method, it will uh, not work because it was removed, right? So go to your GitHub account and here click on your user profile and then click on settings. And then on the left hand side, go at the very bottom where you see developer settings and then click on personal access tokens you can create a fine grain token which is in beta right now and the token which is classic token right so you can click on uh, classic token and then you can generate a new classic token from here click on uh, generate new token and then click on uh, generate new token which is the classic token you can give any note to uh, your token. Let's say I am giving uh, the note my token here. You can choose the expiration date. I can uh, just give a custom expiration date. I want to expire this uh, token in one or two days. So I'm going to just uh, give a very short uh, expiration because I'm doing this for the demonstration purposes. You might want to give the expiration for example for 90 days or you can also choose no expiration also then you can select the scope so i can uh, just select all these scopes here so that i can do all the actions uh, using this token right so i'm going to choose all these uh, options here so you can also choose all these options one by one right so you can see I have chosen all the options and then click on generate token and then this is the token which is created right now in my case I can copy this token and uh, save this at uh, some location you can see make sure you copy your personal token you won't be able to uh, see it again right so you need to copy this and paste it somewhere where you can uh, access it again. I'm going to paste it on the uh, editor. And then you need to edit this command uh, with this token, right? So the token is this one. I'm going to replace this token here in place of token. I'm going to give this uh, command in the description of this video. So you can also uh, use this uh, command then you need to give the username right so in my case my github username is p knowledge right so i can just uh, open uh, the repository once again and you can see this is the uh, username here and this is the repository name you can copy both of uh, both of them right and then you can uh, replace this and you can replace this here in place of username and repository name. So username in my case is uh, P knowledge and the repository name is hello underscore test, right? Let me copy this command here and then paste it inside my repository. I'm going to just paste this command and then press enter. And now once again, I'm going to uh, give the command git push origin main and then press enter and this time you can see my push is successful so once you see this kind of uh, output this means that this new file is pushed into my repository so i can go to my repository you can see previously it only contained uh, 
readme.md file. When I refresh this, I can see hello.py file also, right? I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.